Have you ever watched an artist perform a freestyle and then later realize in the future that it's a song? It wasn't a freestyle. It wasn't a freestyle. <laughs> he made it seem like it was a freestyle. Yeah, I see it all the time. I mean, not that I'm watching videos like that, but I've witnessed that multiple times. Right. Which I always thought like, yo, like why, why do this? Shouldn't you have, you're an artist. Shouldn't you be prepared and have like a freestyle ready in case somebody wants to, you know, throw it at you. Or maybe that's the thing. They thought of it as a freestyle. They did it as a freestyle. And then they were like, oh, this goes so hard. I'm going to make it into a song. Maybe that's why Eminem is so mad. Why? I don't get it. Because he's all about that. He's all about, like, coming up, like, from the cuff, you know? Like, he's all about that freestyle uh, era where people were just, like, like bashing on each other through lyrics well rhymes that's because he started off as a battle rapper so i feel like you automatically have that sort of amosity that energy that you bring yeah but i feel like he expects that from rap what do you mean he expects rappers to know how to freestyle i don't think he expects that I think so. It's kind of like you being a basketball player and you expect another basketball player to be good at shooting threes. Yeah, but that's a... uh, It is, though. I see what you're saying. I see what you're saying, but I feel like... I mean, I'm sure certain people in the NBA do consider that as like part of the job. Like, you got to practice your threes as well. Not just dunking and ollie ooping and shit. Yeah, sure. But there's like, there's so many different aspects of basketball, just like music and rapping. There's so many different aspects. You could be good at creating flows. You could be good at freestyling. You could be good at melodies. You could be good at this, that, your bars, your delivery, you know? So I don't think just because you're a rapper necessarily makes you good at being a good freestyler. So why do you think Eminem is always mad? I just think that that's what he realized that people resonate with his emotion, because I feel like anger is one of the easiest emotions for you to read. Like, it's easy to tell if somebody's angry. So you're saying he's doing it like on purpose. He's not just like actually being mad. Yeah, I definitely think it's on purpose. I think it's his character. I mean, but his lyrics kind of represent something, though. It's not like he's just mad to be mad. He's mad at something. I mean, yeah, he's but... describing it through lyrics. 100%, but a lot of the times his lyrics aren't necessarily... He's just saying, like, some vulgar shit, some crazy shit about killing people or going through with a murder or some shit like that. But look at, uh, what's his name? YN something Melly. I got murdered on, I don't think that's it. <laughs> the guy that's saying, I got murder on my mind. He's yeah. he's basically singing a melody talking about murder, but he's singing about it. You know? But so he actually did commit murder though, right? Yo, do you actually know about that story or no? Like, didn't he commit murder and actually like rapped about the whole thing and made a song about it? Yeah, basically. So it was I forgot how many people altogether, but I believe it was him and three other friends that were like extremely close and they kind of came up together. And he's in jail right now, right? Yeah, yeah. He's in prison, I think. For right? that. Yeah. Actually, I don't know if he's been uh, sentenced to prison yet. I think he's still in jail. Um, but so apparently, allegedly, because they all came up together, he would pay them. You know, like, these are my boys, I'm going to pay my boys, they're going to stay with me, this and that. And apparently they were becoming too expensive, or they were kind of trying to take certain chunks of certain pies that he had that he was like, he wasn't cool with. So he set up his friends to get murdered by him and his other boy. So two of his boys were sitting in the back seat, and him and his other boy were in the front seat, and they set him up shot and killed them in the back of their car and then drove to the hospital and said that they got hit with a drive-by 
Wait, so these are the guys that he was paying? Yes, his his friends. So it's him and three friends. Uh huh. Want him and one of his friends set up the other two guys. So why didn't he just kill all three of them versus like just two of them? I don't know. I don't know like the details of the story of all that stuff, but that's what ended up happening. And couldn't he just cut them off? I don't know, dude. I don't know if they were on some gang shit. I don't know how all that stuff works. But maybe they knew a lot of stuff about him. Maybe they knew the way that he moved. Maybe certain illegal things that he did. And I guess he didn't want any of that out. I don't know. I don't know, bro. I, stupid. Stupid of him to do. But, um, yeah, basically what he was saying didn't match up with what the police found. Like the evidence the police found. First off, they said that as soon as they got shot, they went directly to the hospital. And that wasn't true because they had surveillance footage from um, streetlights that their car was like driving around for like 20, 30 minutes before they went to the hospital. Also, the way that the bullet shots had came in, it didn't make any sense to them saying that they got hit with a drive by from a particular side. You know, the way that the bullets hit the bodies and stuff like that, it just didn't make sense. So, yeah, there's all that that's going on. But that is insane for you to create a song after literally cold blooded killing your close friends. That would be like me setting you up and killing you and just trying to take a. Uh-oh. <laughs> Wait, so he talked about it in the song about killing his friends? He didn't talk about killing his friends, but he talked about murder on my mind. And then he kind of in the music video, he kind of showed like the scenario where he's like holding a body, which was like his friends. Symbolizing his friends. I don't know. It's just Mm -hmm. a whole messy situation, honestly. And these guys died that got shot. Yeah, yeah, they're dead. Wow. Mm -hmm. Holy crap, dude. That's insane. I feel like a lot of like rappers now, like they associate themselves or like get themselves in trouble just for attention, but then it just ends up haunting them down the line. Yep. Cause they like it's pretty much selling your soul. Yeah. In a way. You're doing something that you don't necessarily want to do just for attention, and then it comes and bites you in the ass later on. Yeah. <laughs> 